Hello class, this is the third example of polynomial long division. In this example, there's a lot of peculiar things that happens, so let's go straight into it. I have wrote down here to note the powers of the polynomials. If you've noticed, it goes from x to the power of 5 all the way down to x to the power of 3. So it's missed out on x to the power of 4. Now, I'm going to demonstrate to you in this example why it's very important to always pay attention to this and we should always write down x to the power of 4 like so. So we should always include it in our long division like so. And I'll demonstrate to you during the long division why it's important to include this. So now that we have that out of the way, let's continue. We'll do our division x to the power of 5 divided by x squared is x cubed. Let's do our multiplication. That will give us x to the power of 5. Our multiplication here is going to be 3x cubed. Notice how I wrote it to make sure it's matching the like term. Now here is where it's very important to include that 0x to the power of 4. Let's say that our divisor was not 3x, but, sorry, was not just 3, but it was 3x. So this step where we do the multiplication, it would have been 3x times x cubed. This would have given us 3x to the power of 4. Notice how this time in purple, I matched it with the correct like term and we would have continued our long division like so. But in this example we only had 3x. So let's continue from here. So to emphasize it again you must always pay attention to the missing powers because it may affect your long division as you go along. In this case, it did not. Let's move on. We do a subtraction, that goes away. x cubed minus 3x cubed is negative 2x uh, cubed. We borrow the next term. And we do our long division. We divide this, negative 2x cubed, divided by x squared is going to be negative 2x multiplying negative 2x times x squared that will give us negative 2x cubed. Here's another peculiar thing that might happen negative 2x times 3 is going to be negative 6x Notice how we missed out on that uh, multiplication of x squared. This is no matter because we're still going to continue like so. Negative 2x cubed minus minus this will give us 0. And it turns out we need to borrow even the next term as well. Negative 6x minus minus 6x is 0. But in this case here, it's positive 5x squared minus nothing. So we're left with positive 5x squared plus 15. Now we do our long division even with these terms. I know that was pretty strange, but it's still, you know, it still continues with the procedure. This divided by x squared is just plus 5 and then we continue with our multiplication 5 times x squared 5x squared 5 times 3 is 15. Notice how I'm always writing it underneath the like terms okay doing our subtraction I'm pretty sure you can see that this take away this 0, 15, take away 15, 
also 0. So we have no remainder. So when we divide, when we do this division, we're actually left with just x cubed minus 2x plus 5 plus 0, because our remainder is 0, 0 over x squared plus 3. But since it's 0 over x squared plus 3, we don't need to write it in. So our answer for this division is this here. So we have no remainders. So that concludes the third example. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.